Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 22 video. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Philadelphia Eagles, but with the new addition of AJ Brown here, who they got in the first round. Well, technically, they traded a first round pick away from him that turned in, traded a first round pick away for, to get AJ Brown that turned into Traylon Burke. So I think they won that trade. They got Jordan Davis, who I think is a beast. As a Ravens fan, I really wanted him. Then they traded it right in front of right in front of the Ravens. And then the Ravens got Kyle Hamilton, which I'm cool with. And they also got Dean here, who they got in the third round. This was a steal. And I mean, a huge steal of a pick. And it's just the only thing is that he had a sh shoulder injury. That's why he fell to the third round. So the Eagles finally took a chance on him. And I think he's going to be a great player once he gets uh, the shoulder surgery, if he does actually choose to get it. But um, they also got James Bradbury who's another key player. A lot of people just made uh, Eagles rebuilds without him. So I'm making sure to get him in here. If you guys do want these updated rosters, make sure you uh, click the link down in the description. Also, I have not uploaded it in like a week, maybe nine days, something like that. I just graduated from high school. I had a lot of finals coming up. I am going to college, but um, I hope I can make YouTube a full-time job after college. That would be sick. But um, yeah, just graduated high school. So I just had to get that out of the way to see why I was gone for so long. But anyways, Jalen Hurts here. I think he should be at least a star dev. I think Jalen Hurts, for all you Eagles fans out there, I think he's going to have a breakout year and I think he will be an absolute beast this upcoming season. AJ Brown trade, Eagles easily won this trade. He is, I don't know if he's worth exactly a first round pick. I would say a later first round pick. He was a mid first round pick that they gave up for him, but it was still a great pickup for Jalen Hurts because they got Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, a great offensive line. Miles Sanders, whenever he's actually utilized correctly. Um, Zach Pascal is solid, but Quez Watkins is very underrated. People don't talk about him eno enough. Quez Watkins is a great receiver, a lot better than Jalen Rager. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and um, yeah, O-line's great. Jordan Mulata, Dickerson, Landon Dickerson. Is it Landon Dickerson? Yeah, I'm right, Landon Dickerson. Uh, Jason Kelsey or Jason Kels, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Lane Johnson here. Defensively, of course. Uh, Dean, I'm going to move up over Edwards here. TJ Edwards, he's, he's still a young age. Kaiser White was an amazing pickup by the Eagles. The Chargers were stupid for letting him go. Kaiser White is a great player. Hassan Rick, Reddick here. Um, do I want him playing over Josh Sweat? No, because he's younger. Brandon Graham, though. I don't know if I want it. He's 80. Ugh. I don't know. I think I'm going to have Hassan Reddick. I didn't know he was 26. Well, he's technically 27 in real life in this Madden game. He's 26. I'm going to move Hassan Reddick down to left end so he can come off the edge there since we're in a 4-3. I think that would just be better for the team overall if he did that. And Brandon Graham's going to play in depth. Jordan Davis, I don't think he will start in year one. We also have Javon Hargrave here and we have uh, Fletcher Cox. So um, I'm just going to wait. Mm, do I wait? I kind of want to start. I'm going to start him over Javon Hargrave. Uh, I don't know if that's the best move, but at the same time, I really want to see him play. And he's, especially since he has superstar. Brendan Graham is that rush defensive tackle too. Um, I want Josh Sweat to come off rush right end, not Derek Barnett, please. Dean is going to start over Edwards and uh, Kazir White. Zach Quez Watkins I want in the slot. Avant, uh, Avante Maddox is here. Yeah, this depth DB room is pretty good. Darius Slay, Avante Maddox, James Bradbury, uh, Anthony Harris. Yeah, Anthony Harris, who's getting older. They need a free safety. They need safety in general, which they will have to address a little bit later. So, um, yeah, that's looking great. The offense is looking great. It literally all just depends on Jalen Hurts. As you can see here, I have not changed any of the schemes or any of the playbooks. We're just going to see how the Eagles do in year one if I don't adjust anything at all. And then we will pick up and go from there. So it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are two and five. The Giants are four and three. That's not realistic at all. <laughs> Giants will not have a winning record for a long time. Um, as long as their franchise stays around for quite a while, maybe Kayvon Thibodeau can completely change that, but I doubt it. Anyways, we're somehow two and five. The entire team just seems to suck. Offensive points per game is 29th. Defensive points per game is 25th. So we'll change up the schemes after the season, but we have to see what we're rocking with here in the first season. Jason Kelsey, I want him for the entirety of the rebuild if he doesn't retire. He, he signs with us right now. Fletcher Cox. Um, I'm going to negotiate his 
Yeah, I'm going to negotiate his contract as he regresses. I've done this in multiple rebuilds in the past. So for now, I'm just going to give him his one year deal up the money and it's 11.7. Oh, he wants, he wants more. So I'll give him more at the end. But for now, that's just what he's going to have. But as I'm just going to keep giving him one year deal. So that way, as he regresses, I will slowly just work down his contract and I don't have to pay him 12 million a year every single year. Um, Anthony Harris, no, I'm just not going to resign. He's too old. Kaiser White is a guy that I would love to have back um, up that money. Eight million a year for someone who's only a 76 isn't really most ideal for me, but it's whatever. Boston Scott, no. Zach Pascal, no. And everyone else here is just a no. I'll get Fletcher Cox in the offseason. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 7-10. And of course, the Giants go 7-10 and and tank the rest of their season. Coming off a loss to the Cowboys, second in the division. The defense had a comeback on the year. Our passing game was 26, but we, had, we were 10th in points per game. So I'm going to change up the scheme right now. I'm going to keep the defense the way it is because it seems to, if it got 10, top 10 in points per game, I'm rocking with it completely. So we're going to go with uh, vertical. No, we're going to go vertical power run. And then we're going to go with... Um, was it, do I want to go Kansas City's? Yeah, we have the receivers for it. So I will go Kansas City's offense if I can ever find it at any point in year, please. Hello, please just give me the KC. Where is it? Bro, there it is. Finally. I don't know if I completely backtracked on that. But um, yeah, let's see these stats and awards here for this season to see what we got. And uh, Jalen Hurts. That was actually not bad in passing yards. Seventh, but not good passing touchdowns. 26 offense, 14th defense. Overall, 4,300 yards, 27 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. That's a solid ratio. It just needs to be higher on the touchdown side. Miles Sanders, 15 touchdowns, 3.4 per carry is good, but 15 touchdowns is solid. Quez Watkins, 1,100 yards, four touchdowns. That's a good breakout year for him. Devontae Smith, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. AJ Brown was disappointing for all the hype, but still not a bad season. Dallas Goddard, eight touchdowns, 821 yards. Looking at it, uh, defensively, Dean, 157 tackles. That's great. Tackles for a loss, 23 for Hassan Reddick. Sacks, nine for Fletcher Cox, eight and a half for Hassan Reddick. Uh, Dean had more sacks than Jordan Davis, who had zero, but he had seven tackles for a loss. Interceptions, four for Avante Maddox. Safeties is zero. Defensive touchdowns is zero. So anyways, guys, apart from that, hopefully with these new schemes, we can do a little bit better next season. And let's move in to the offseason. And the Cardinals beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Kyler Murray wins the Super Bowl MVP and the league MVP and the Offensive Player of the Year. But there are no awards here for the Philadelphia Eagles. But let's see if there is any roster upgrades offensively looking into it. What do we have? We have absolutely nobody gets an upgrade. That's cool. Defensively looking into it. Hassan Reddick gets Superstar Dev. That's good. And... Um, yeah, that's literally about it. Just as on Reddit gets the upgrade. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. We're going to move into the resign players here. I might have to trade uh, Javon Hargrave away just because I already have his replacement in Jordan Davis. I can't have him getting reps or just rotting on the bench and taking up cap room. So we will have to replace him eventually. 2021 retirements, technically the 2022 retirements. NFC East, let's see what we got. Jason Kelsey retires. That is a huge one. That's going to sting real bad. That's going to sting. Yikes. Okay. Fletcher Cox has only regressed at one overall. Nice Cox, dude. We're going to give you a bonus upgrade and he resigns. Anthony Harris, no. And Boston Sky, everyone else here is just a no. Not interested in them. It's now time to get into free agency with $47 million to spend. Here we are after free agency and uh, we got Bryce Callahan on a stupid cheap deal here. We also got Ronnie Harrison on a good deal. Younger, strong safety. Andy's already a higher overall then um, I can't believe I already forgot. Anthony Harris, that's who it was. Corey Bohorquez, cheap deal as a punter, and Trey Boston on a one-year deal just as a filler position. But um, yeah, Ronnie Harrison, it was probably the main key signing there. But anyways, it's now time to move into the draft. At pick number 11, I'm picking up a left outside linebacker, Evan uh, Fitzsimmons, is, I believe is how you pronounce that, out of Ohio State. Only normal dev, unfortunately. But overall, he looked pretty good. A pursue, A, 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 B, B. He looks pretty good overall. I don't really see too much of a problem with him, but only normal dev, unfortunately. With my next pick, I'm picking up a left guard who I'm going to move to right guard. Hidden dev, 88 strength. He seems pretty solid to me. And with my next pick, I'm picking up a wide receiver, Chris McCann. Uh, 5'10", hidden dev out of Florida, 92 speed. He seems overall pretty good. Other than the F injury, good thing injuries turned off. But yeah, seems like a solid receiver. 
here we are after the draft as I moved my guard into the center position to replace Jason Kelsey. And then McCann is a 74 overall. I'm going to start him over Quez Watkins just because he has a hidden development. So that's huge for us. And then defensively looking into it, um, Fitzsimmons is a 73 overall. He's not even bad. That's actually a pretty solid overall for a first round pick. So I'm not even, I'm not even mad about that. It's just he didn't get a dev. That's the huge thing. So there's that. Orlando Sanders, I picked him up in the second round. He doesn't seem to be that good. Yikes. And what was the other solid player I picked up? No, these were just the three. Fitzsimmons, the receiver, and the center that I got. Uh, Javon Hargrave, he's going to have to go. I'm sorry. I just I already have his replacement already here. And who has the money to take him? Do I always have to go and trade with the Bears? Do the, yeah, Cowboys have the cap room for him. Uh, oh, I don't think I can get a first round pick for Javon Hargrave. But how, oh, never mind. Okay. We apparently get a first round pick for Javon Hargrave. Makes no sense. I don't know how that works. I would never trade a first round pick for Javon Hargrave, but it works. That's what matters. Let's refresh this so that way the CPU knows what's going on. And it looks like the um, CPU also picked up this guy named Hines. I'm going to start him as a second string. We'll put him as a second string player. You can here. Dean, move up. Kaiser White, Edwards. I like what we got. I like all this setup. And yeah, the team seems pretty good. I like the schemes we got, so it's now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are five and two, second in the division, a highly contested division, as the Giants are five and two and Cowboys are five and one at the top of the division. We're doing great coming off a win to the Packers, and Fletcher Cox is here. So I am going to work his contract down as I explained before. He still wants around the same amount of money. So he's not really aggressing that far, so it's not really that big of a deal. Miles Sanders, it depends how good he plays this year, is depending on how we'll give him a contract, so I don't quite know with him yet. TJ Edwards, I would like to have a long-term deal as a depth linebacker behind Dean. And uh, Derek Barnett, the first-round pick, I'm just going to have to let go. I have no use for him. Trey Boston, I, I'm just not going to have a use for him either. It's going to be too much. Andre Dillard, a first-round pick, didn't really pan out that well. JJ Arcega, white side. This is who you drafted. Is it tight end now, apparently? Interesting, but this is who you drafted over DK Metcalf. It's fine. I'm a Ravens fan. We drafted a uh, Marquise Brown over DK Metcalf. Carson Strong here um, and Gardner Minshew. I think I might want to resign Carson Strong, honestly, as my backup. I don't think I will, though. I might want to, but let's look at the team real quick. Holcomb has um, Star Dev. McCann, the slot receiver, only has Star Dev as well. Is he my slot? Yes, he is. Making sure and defensively. Fitzsimmons is the same, of course, because he didn't get development traits. Just making sure I got everything there. And what was I looking for? I was looking for something specifically, but I guess it really doesn't matter now that I forgot it. Our, it looks like our offense is doing really good and our defense is doing middle of the road, which is fine with me. So it's now time to move into the playoffs. As long as we're 5-2 and two or have a winning record, I don't really care how the offense or defense performs. So let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Steelers as we are 10 7 third in the division as the Cowboys take the probably the first seed go 14 and 3 and the Giants go 11 and 6. Yeah, Cowboys take the first seed, Giants get the fifth seed, we get the sixth seed at 10 and 7. Still good. Washington Commanders go 5 and 12. Stats and awards to see what we got here. Jalen Hurts did amazing. Amazing season for Jalen Hurts. Not even top 10, so he probably had a lot of interceptions. 5 Fifth best offense in the league and defensively, sixth best defense, great. So 19 receptions is the reason, but it's fine. He had 34 touchdowns and 5,100 yards, great season. Miles Sanders, I'm not going to re-sign you. You're an 85 overall and you're only putting up a 3.6 average. I don't want you. Uh, Chris McCann, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, amazing rookie year. Dallas Goddard, eight touchdowns, 1,100 yards. He's going to get superstar dead for that. And same with Chris uh, McCann because he had 97 receptions too. A.J. Brown, 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns, uh, but he only had 73 receptions, so I'm not gonna give, give him a development upgrade. And Devontae Smith had a nice amount of receptions. Looking at it defensively, Dean, 118 tackles, along with Kaiser White, and tackles for a loss, 24 for Josh Sweat, sacks 20 for Hassan Reddick. That's an X factor, that's insane. Interceptions, three for Dean, and looking at it, safety, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So apart from that, guys, I would say it's now time to see if we can beat the 9-8 Green Bay Packers to move on to the divisional round. 
could we do it here? And we don't. 49 to 24, we're gonna lose, unfortunately. It was still a good season for the team, so let's move in to the offseason. And the Cowboys and Dak Prescott wins the Super Bowl MVP against the Kansas City Chiefs. Alvin Kamara wins the league MVP. That's surprising. There are no awards here for the Philadelphia Eagles, but let's see what we got here for the roster upgrades offensively. Jalen Hurts better get one, and he does. McCann gets a superstar dev. That's not really a surprise either. Hines has superstar dev. I'd like to make him my starter now. That would be sick if he developed. Dallas Goddard had like 93 receptions, 1,100 yards, and eight touchdowns. I would like to think he would be a superstar tight end. He had a great season. He was pretty solid the season before. It wasn't ridiculous the season before, but solid. So he's going to get superstar dev as well. O-line is looking great. It's still developing on some parts of it, though. Hassan Reddick, you're going to get 20 sacks in a season. You're going to tell me he doesn't get superstar X-Factor yet. You're smoking something. Anyways, I definitely want him to be an X-Factor after that kind of a season. No way he wouldn't deserve one. So he's getting an X-Factor for that. And looking at the rest of the lineup, Trey Boston's regressing, of course. And everyone else here looks the same. So that's fine with me. It's now time to move into the resign players here to see who we have to resign, of course. And maybe Kazir White should get star dev because 118 tackles in a season for a guy who isn't even the starting sub linebacker, that's still pretty good. 2022 retirements, technically the 2023 retirements, NFC East. We have absolutely nobody retiring from there, but let's see who we got to re-sign here. Players ready to negotiate. Miles Sanders already said no. Derek Barnett, no. No, 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 no. Carson Strong, how much does it take to re-sign you? Oh my God, that's quite a bit actually. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go find a stupid sec a stupid cheap second string QB. So that way the CPU doesn't sign like, not Colin Kaepernick, but let's say Aaron Rodgers just sat in free agency. I've had it happen in a lot of my rebuilds. So I'm just going to move into free agency and see what we can get for 42 million. Here we are after free agency as I got Kareem Hunt. I know some people may have wanted to see that superstar running back start, but I, I just don't want to take a chance. And whenever Kareem Hunt's here in free agency and I have the money to get him, Darnell Savage for free safety, another depth DB. We have an amazing secondary and money Mitch Trubisky here as a second string QB. So that way the CPU doesn't automatically sign one. So let's move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up right guard Grayson Wheeler out of Alabama. 93 strength indicates he has a high overall, but unfortunately only normal development. He looks very good overall from his skills, but that's going to be our first round pick. I didn't have a right guard apparently according to the CPU. So I just drafted one here in the first round. Here we are after the draft as Wheeler's a 74 overall, so it's a good it's a good pick. It's just unfortunately no development and offensive linemen cannot gain developments no matter if they allow zero sacks in their entire career because EA never seems to fix any part of their game. So Hines are going to make a second string back behind Kareem Hunt, McCann here, Watkins, Ellensworth, Jalen Reger is not going to be here soon because I didn't accept this fifth year deal. Jordan Davis is an 80 overall by now. Edwards, Fitzsimmons. Maybe we should get a better linebacker in free agency because these guys don't really seem to be panning out too well. Kaiser White has done good on the stat sheet, just not ridiculously insane. Avante Maddox, James Bradbury. So I'm assuming the CPU cut, what's what, what you call it, uh, Bryce Callahan, because they just love to do it. As soon as they meet their requirement, because I set out cut restriction for the cpu because they just love cutting older players as soon as they reach that requirement they're like nope you're gone regardless if i want them on the team or not it's very annoying but um yeah anyways guys apart from that team looks solid hopefully we can do a little bit better this season and uh actually win a playoff game so let's get into the third season and the midseason mark here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the broncos they have russell wilson they have a stacked team so i'm not really surprised by that um here to face the three and four Cowboys who are third in the division. We're second in the division as we are four and two and the commanders are five and one. Huge turnaround from last season for them. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see, we have AJ Brown. Of course, I want you back. First round pick we basically used on you. And here he signs Fletcher Cox. See, it's only 9 million a year now because I'm negotiating his contract as he regresses instead of 12 million a year. So that helps us long-term. Hassan Reddick, yes, I'll spread out the deal for you. And he resigns. Darius Slay, I'd like to give you the one-year deal and negotiate as you go down. And he resigns. James Bradbury, same deal. And let's give him that. Dean should be on a four-year deal, but since he um, had a shoulder injury, I'm assume probably I'm assuming he probably only got a three-year deal from the Eagles, so I'm not going to adjust it. Jalen Hurts, 
Of course, I gotta give you a contract. And, um, ooh, do I not have the money for Hertz? Is that a thing? Oh, wow, he actually accepted that. I'm surprised. Okay, Jordan Davis, he was a first round pick. He should not get three years. He should have a four year deal along with his fifth year option. So it should be a five year deal. So I have to go in and change this contract for him. So do that and I'm cool with that. So let's back out and then I have to go back in and see who else I have here. Um, apparently my players ready to negotiates tab just disappeared out of nowhere. So now I have to simulate to the next week and see if we can beat the Cowboys. We lost them. We're four and three now. Yikes. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's see if we can actually negotiate anyone else here. Cam, I don't want and everyone else here. I just don't want just needed to make sure. So anyways, guys, apart from that, we are four and three here. Let's hopefully make it into the playoffs and just get into it. Here we are in the playoffs going eight and nine, missing in playoffs on negative 40 million in cap room. The defense just fell off hard and the offense was just not as successful as I wanted it to be. Looking at it, Jalen Hurts still had a solid season. 15th best offense in the NFL and uh, the 15th best defense. Middle of the road team going eight and nine. 4,500 yards, 31 TDs, 18 receptions is still too many. Kareem Hunt, 14 touchdowns, 4.3 per carry, 1,000 yards, solid season. Quez Watkins, wow. Almost 1,100 yards, five touchdowns. Dallas Goddard, seven touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Pretty solid all around. Did McCann. McCann only had three receptions, 23 yards. I guess he wasn't starting the slot. Uh, Dean, 157 tackles. I'm going to give him superstar. The dude's really been doing great with the tackling. He's doing really, really good. It's probably one of the top in the NFL. So let's see, actually. Let's see if he is the top in the NFL. He has the most tackles in the entirety of the NFL. There literally shouldn't be a debate on whether or not he gets superstar dev or not. So tackles for a loss, 20 for Josh Sweat, sacks 11 for Josh Sweat, nine for Hassan Reddick, interception three for Ronnie Harrison, safeties is zero, defensive touchdowns is zero. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say it's now time to move in to the off season. And the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl MVP. Zeke wins the league MVP. There are no awards here for the Philadelphia Eagles. So we're going to see what the roster upgrades here are. So did maybe... No, I don't think Hurts got one. Hurts did not get one. Um, anyone else here? No. Defensively looking into it. Sweat gets superstar dev. That's cool. That's cool. Kaiser White gets star dev. Dean, he, had, he led the league in tackles. I don't see why he wouldn't get superstar dev. So I'm going to give it to him here. Let's give him that superstar dev, please. And yeah. And that's all there was. Jordan Davis is an 82 overall superstar dev player behind Fletcher Cox still. Let's see what we got for the re-signings. I can't even re-sign anyone if I wanted to. And I'm pretty sure I re-signed everyone I wanted to. So let's just look at the retirements to see what we have. So, um... Please load game. <laughs> there we go. 2023 retirements, technically 2024, of course. NFC East. Oh, oh man. Giants punts are retired. That's going to be real scary for our division. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we have here. Quez Watkins and everyone else here. I can even resign Quez Watkins if I wanted to. So I'm going to let him go anyways because McCann is already my slot player. I should have had him in the slot to start with. We have negative $8 million to spend for agency, so I can't do anything. Let's just simulate to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up a defensive back, Thomas Tremble out of LSU, hidden dev, 5'10". He seems like a pretty solid player. After the draft, this is what we look like offensively going into the fourth and final season is McCain in the slot. McCann, my bad, not McCain. Uh, Tribble, not Tremble. I think I pronounced it Tremble whenever I drafted him. Tribble is my bad. Thomas Tribble seems to be pretty good. 73 overall, but he is going to be a fifth string because we have so much depth at the DB position. It's just not very high overalls because they're either too young, haven't developed much, or just too old and they're regressing. But um, yeah, seems pretty solid overall. Looks like the CPU picked up this free safety, Josh Bailey out of Stanford. Seems pretty good. And this strong safety, Caleb McGuire. Um, hopefully you're related to Tobe McGuire. That'd be sick. Spider-Man in the backfield. That'd be awesome if they called him that. Strong safety, Caleb McGuire out of Louisville. We won't see much of him because obviously Ronnie Harrison is starting. So yeah, anyways guys, apart from that, we seem to be pretty good and this is going to be the fourth and final season. So we better make the playoffs and not just make them, we better win the Super Bowl or make it to the Super Bowl in this season. So I don't have to resign anybody at the midseason mark. Let's skip to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Cowboys as that is a crucial win because the Cowboys go 11-6 second in the division as we go 12-5, take the division 
and what seed are we? Probably the third seed, I would assume. Yeah, third seed. We're going to face the sixth seed in the New Orleans Saints. Hopefully we can beat them, but first we got to look at the stats and awards as we were 12-5. and five. Great season. Jalen Hurts did amazing. Fourth best offense in the NFL. Defensively, 22nd. Yikes. Uh, 5,000 yards, 39 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Still a little much, but it's definitely an improvement. 68% completion percentage. Kareem Hunt, five touchdowns, 4.8 per carry is great. 1,000 yards, but five touchdowns is not enough. Chris McCann, 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns, 92 receptions. Great year. AJ Brown, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Devontae Smith, nine touchdowns, 940 yards. Unfortunately, never broke 1,000 yards in this rebuild, I think. I don't know exactly, though. Dallas Goddard had a solid season. Looking at it defensively, Dean, 121 tackles, tackles for a loss. 15 for Fletcher Cox, sacks, 10 for Fletcher Cox. Interceptions, four for Kaiser White is amazing. Safeties is one for Fletcher Cox and zero defensive touchdowns. So defense didn't do really that great this season. It looks like our rushing defense was seventh, but our passing was uh, 26. But our points per game for defense was ninth. Good stuff. So anyways, let's see if we can beat the 10 and 7 Saints to move on to the divisional round. Please, let's at least win one playoff game. We do 28 to 21 here to face the 9 and 8 Los Angeles Rams. Can we beat them to move on to the conference championship? We don't. 24 to 20, you can't win every rebuild. I know I'm always gonna I'm always gonna have someone in the comments saying, oh my god, I could have done a better rebuild than this. I'm so much better than you at rebuilding. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that in every single video. You can't win every single one. If I won every single rebuild, then of course it would be boring. So this is what the team looks like. Jalen Hurts only developed to an 83 overall without the morale boost. So it wasn't really the best to have Matt quarterback, I guess. But um, yeah, we built a solid team. I'm happy with the team we built. Um, just unfortunate that we only won one playoff game. But apart from that, guys, I thank you guys all for watching. Let me know down in the comments below which team you want me to rebuild next. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.